In Hoplite Battle Royale, you have a choice. Do you go for a strong sword to out melee your opponent? Or do you prefer to keep your distance and bowlock your enemy like Robin Hood? The answer really depends on your playstyle. There are currently 12 powerful crafts to unlock legendary weapons. And of these 12 weapons, three of them are bows, two of which are actually useful. <laughs> and one that stands above all the rest. So, which legendary bow outshines the others? Stay tuned to find out. And 94% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So if you're part of that statistic, oh my bro. god, S tier yapper, bro, get into the video. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another Hot Play video here on the Lackey Minecraft YouTube channel. So I think the weapon that we're gonna go for today is the Artemis bow. I've been getting a lot of comments saying that they wanna see some Artemis bow gameplay. But to be completely honest, I've kind of been putting off the Artemis video since I'm kind of terrible with the bow. Luckily for me, the Artemis bow's main ability is homing arrows. So even if I do miss a shot, there's still a chance that my arrows will lock onto the opponent and hit them anyways. Oh, and uh, by the way, I'm playing this game with my friends Giuseppe and JJQ. So hopefully between the three of us, one of us will find an Amethyst Geode because we will need a Spyglass for the Artemis bow. We also kind of lucked out by getting a bunch of gunpowder in the Sphinx structure, which we'll need for the TNT. Only five minutes left until the King election, and I still haven't found any diamonds. We may have to just go to the surface and go for kills at this point. At this point, in every single video that I've posted, we found diamonds on the roof of the cave. Haters are gonna say that it's staged, but like, how would I stage this? Let's go ahead and pick up some obsidian while we're down here, and now I think we're gonna meet up with our teammates to enchant. And it looks like they elected me the king. Uh, thank you, team. With Giuseppe having given me the materials to craft a book, I finally created the enchantment table for our team to use. After spending some time grouping up and enchanting our weapons, we realized that we didn't yet have the amethyst for the Artemis bow. So we decided that would be a good use of our time to go and eliminate other civilizations in the hope that they might be carrying the amethyst that we need. Crafting our tracker packs, we followed the wolves upstream right into a player that was holding the very weapon that we've been working for. Uh, there's an enemy across the river. Okay. Oh, and he has Artemis. Hey, that's so them. good for us. Make oh, yeah, they have, okay, they have multiple Artemis. You over here? They're like all underground. What the hell? I'm going to jump them. Wow, I am lagging so hard. I saw you. And um, um, this one's on 13. Okay, nice kill. Watch out, there's a creeper right behind you. Oh, nice, you guys got I'm the talking. Artemis. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I killed the guy with Artemis. He's one shot. He's one He's on one. Nice kill. I still don't have a single kill, but at least we have two Artemis. Might as well go ahead and make Ares Blessing. Bro, this guy just yoing to my iron. Are you kidding me? It was just iron. I'm going to throw it on another tracker pack. Wait, there, there's literally enemies where we first landed. Unless this is a trap, so be careful. Another head, another Ares blessing. Yo, instant health. That's actually kind of sick. Hey, guys, I'm alone. Throw on me. Yes. This guy is just... I need backup quick. Okay, so I'm not going to show the rest of this fight. The rest of the footage is literally just them running for five minutes. However, when we finally group back up, Giuseppe made me an offer for the Artemis bow. Just give me a kiss. Mwah! Aww. I think deep down, he really just felt bad for taking all of my kills. At this point, it's nearly three and a half minutes into the video with no sign of the other legendary bows. Fret not, patient viewer, for our next fight was one deadly bow duel. Yo, 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 look down, look down, there's a, there's a team below us. Uh, I'm gonna go down on them. Oh my god. Ooh! Oh my god! Oh, oh golly! Oh golly! Okay, wait, maybe, maybe we shouldn't have gone down here, oh my god. What the fuck? That's a bit scary. It's crazy. Look at this guy. This guy has like prop off. This guy, this guy probably has prop off. Bro, he just killed all of our dogs. Well, that's kind of ironic for me to be saying, but. Our teammates are actual professional body blockers. Is that all of them? Did we kill them all? Oh my god, guys, we've won. We've won. We've won. <laughs> multi shot. Multi shot. Do you mind if I grab it for the video? Oh yeah, baby, give me that wooden crossbow. Oh shit! Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Yeah, okay, now we find the geode. Good job, guys. Uh, I kind of need sick. some diamond armor. <laughs> yeah, speaking of diamond armor, I'm gonna give some to Lucky because he's my favorite. Aw, Giuseppe. Hey, thanks for the armor, baby cakes. Oh, peasant people, people! In there, in there. They're just camping at the top of the tower. Wait, in... Wait, oh, guys ready? TNT man got, TNT man got. Oh my god. Okay, so unless there's some literal divine intervention, guys, I think that we have this in the bag. 
And if we lose Giuseppe, I think that you owe me a thousand dollars PayPal. Up until this point in the video, everything has went our way. But with great triumph comes greater collapse. And unfortunately for our team, I had ops in this lobby. With our enemies seeing that we wielded not only a sonic crossbow, but two Artemis bows, they had no choice but to use this intel to their advantage. Surface, now there's literally an entire team coming to clean. Oh my god, get you ray shared him. Okay. Alright, I kind of have to keep my distance with the crossbow here. Um, oh, Bear Sword does five hearts. I don't know, whatever. Fuck, I didn't know that it was loaded. I'm so sorry. Whatever they have does five hearts. They're using all of their Dragon Katana teleports on me. Please help. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do. They are all going for me. Okay, I'm good. I got out. But there's two on me outside of the jungle, though. Okay, tuck it on from. On top, that's the thing. On top, that's the thing. Oh, we have the Neverite Sword. I'm crossing in the cave. I'm crossing in the cave. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, me. Okay, capitalize on this. Capitalize on this. Oh my god. I got 19 gap bullets. Talk, talk, talk. Thank you, thank you, you piece of me. It's fine. If, if we just get Amfrost away, then like, we can fight. Our teammate's probably gonna die, but like, he's back. 26. I just thought to change a stack of arrows and that's like, fine. Nice. Okay, that... Oh. We need one of their Reaper sites. One of them had a Reaper site. I, I, I got the Reaper site, lucky. Um, random two people, random two people. Or random. He has a fire aspect, he has a fire aspect. We need this. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm like hyper focused right now. Uh, guys, there's a whole gang on me. Yeah. I can revive you. No, no, no. Um, just nah, I think Holy shit, I'm Katniss! You got killed one? I know, I know, no. Take me. You don't first pick the, the, the weapon. Heading into deathmatch having lost four players, we knew that we would be public enemy number one. Because not only was our whistleblower still alive, but a full team of skilled players as well as our enemies from before had their eyes on our sonic crossbow. For now, all we could really do was camp out of sight from other players and use our bows to drain them. Only, I this didn't exactly really stop them from blocks. targeting us. Uh, oh sorry, still getting used to it. I think our teammate just popped speed. Nice shot. Wait, is the is the the crossbow infinite? Like, uh, no, I don't think mm -hmm. so. You were getting pushed from behind. Don't chase. Keep high ground. No. no, no. Other side now, other side? Oh, I know they want this crossbow. By now, it was clear that we were being targeted by both teams. Although our enemies had flame bows, netherite swords, and legendary weapons, they still needed to team up with the iron team to take us down. Get the target at from. Wait, they're literally just team and launch us up. Nah, I died. That's so beautiful. Oh my god, they're each. Wait, is this two? No, they are teaming. They are, oh, oh my god, god they're, they're literally just teaming. teaming. They're, they're yeah. literally.
Unfortunately, we did not pull out the win that game, but together we did get 19 team kills, which I think is pretty good. The Sonic Crossbow is definitely extremely overpowered, and while I do think that it's a strong weapon, legendary bows are just inherently weaker than melee weapons, especially when they have a cooldown. So in the background while we talk, there's going to be some gameplay of a solo game that I scrapped because there was hardly anything going on in it. I just wanted to sit down and talk and thank you guys for all the support on the videos recently, especially those of you who come back and leave comments. Uh, I do recognize you. I do see you guys coming back and leaving comments on every video, but I realized that you guys really don't know that much about me. I guess there really isn't that much to know. I'm just a little shy guy who plays Minecraft. I feel like if you had to sum me up in one characteristic, it would be kind of awkward. Statistically, about 70% of people have probably clicked off by this time, so if you're still part of the 30% watching, I really appreciate it. I guess, where do I start? I've been uploading on YouTube ever since 2011, and I started by doing Clip Penguin videos, actually. But of course, I was still young and in school, and I didn't really have much experience, so it was just like, so it really wasn't content creation, it was more so just me recording Club Penguin videos with my phone. But as I've grown, I feel like my videos have definitely improved since then. In December 2020, I decided decided to start streaming on Twitch.tv, and I always told myself that I couldn't do YouTube because I didn't have the skills to edit or make thumbnails, but in all honesty, I think that was just me making excuses to not try, because every video that I've uploaded so far and all of the thumbnails that I've had, I've actually created myself. So I guess in a way I am proud of myself for proving that I can do what I thought I couldn't. And don't get me wrong, I don't think that my videos are top tier yet, but the small little community that we have so far is very promising. However, while I am having a lot of fun with it so far, I am an adult and I do have adult responsibilities such as jobs and bills to pay. So while I would like to dedicate full time to just recording and editing videos, I sadly can't. I want to try to stick to a schedule of posting at least twice a week. However, if I can't meet that schedule, I hope that you can forgive me. I know that there's probably no one out there that looks forward every single day to a lackey upload. But again, to those who do come back, I really do appreciate you. You guys keep me going, and and I do hope that I keep improving my content for you guys. I think it's clear that even from just the start of the month that my videos have improved by quite a bit. So hopefully we keep that momentum going and we hit 100k by the end of 2024? Oh yeah, it's almost 2024. That's crazy. I don't really know what direction the channel is going to go in. I think I am going to stick to Hoplite while I'm enjoying it, but who knows what the future holds. Again, I'm also having a YouTube banner made. I'll throw up a preview of it up on the screen right now. As of current, it's not yet finished, but check back to my channel in a few days and it'll be a shiny brand new YouTube banner and it looks so cool with the Artemis bow and the dragon katana and it's so awesome. If you know where the sound of the banner is from, please leave a comment so I can pin you because you're going to be my favorite viewer ever. Okay, I'll be honest. At this point, I'm just rambling on. I really do appreciate you for watching this far. If you want to check out my Discord and my Twitter, it's down in the description as well as my Twitch. But for now, I'm going to head out. Thank you so very much for watching and have a wonderful night. Oh yeah, and watch how hard I fumble this fight. Lol.